Good morning. Good morning, Father. Good morning Father. Uh, this morning's Mass will be offered for Diane <coughs> and uh, your absence. And today we celebrate the feast of St. Augustine Zhao Gong and his companions. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. <laughs> Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you bring us hope for better days to come. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. You bring us strength in time of trial. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your wonderful providence have strengthened your church through the confession of the holy martyrs, St. Augustine and his companions, grant that your people, faithful to the mission entrusted to it, may enjoy ever greater freedom and witness to the truth before the world. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Reading from the book of the prophet Hosea, thus says the Lord, they made kings in Israel, but not with my authority. They established princes, but without my approval. With their silver and their gold, they made idols for themselves, to their own destruction. Cast away your calf, O Samaria. My wrath is kindled against them. How long will they be unable to attain innocence in Israel? The work of the artesian, no, no God at all. Destined for the flames, such as the calf of Samaria. When they sow the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. The stalk of grain that forms no ear can yield no flower. Even if it could, strangers would swallow it. When Ephraim made many altars to expiate sin, his altars became occasions of sin. Though I write for him my many ordinances, they are considered as, as a strangers. Though they offer sacrifice, emulate flesh and eat it, the Lord is not pleased with them. He shall still remember their guilt and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks to God. God. The, false, the house of Israel trusts in the Lord. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have mouths, but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have hands, but feet not. They have feet, but walk not. Their maker shall be like them, everyone that trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. from the home. 
a demonic who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out of the poor man, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. <clears throat> Jesus went about all to the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity, because they were troubled <coughs> and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. The lives of all the saints are very inspirational. And we wonder how in the world they ever persevered in all the suffering they endured. But we have to remember with God all things are possible because these people were certainly close, ever, ever close to Jesus. And so back in the 17th century, 18th century, 19th century, the Catholic Church was persecuted by the Chinese. And so <coughs> missionaries from all over the world went there to teach the gospel. But practically all were murdered simply because of the love of Christ and their teaching of his gospel. And so we have this Saint Augustine who was among them all, perhaps in many cases the leader of many. Originally he was a soldier and he was told to take the bishop of uh, Beijing to be murdered. He did so. But he was so inspired by the bishop's courage that he ran away from his military position. He asked to be baptized. And then later on, he became a priest. And shortly after that, he was murdered. Altogether, there were 120 martyrs after St. Augustine. Children as early as nine years of age, elderly as old as 72 years of age. And the sad part about it is they just didn't kill somebody, they tortured them endlessly. And if you remember the story of Bishop Walsh, uh, Walsh who was the uh, Maranol missionary who went to, to uh, China, they put him in a cage and they would parade him publicly throughout the, the towns and villages. And people got a bamboo stick and sharpened the end of it. And as he went along, they stuck his body with these very sharp bamboo <coughs> sticks. So anything to make him suffering and what good was going to come out of it for them? Nothing before the, the poor people who gave their lives for Christ. They were declared saints in the year 2000, 2000 by uh, Pope Paul II. Now, if you stand, please, we'll have our general intercession. <coughs> Let us now present our petitions to the Father, trusting in his goodness. For all who are called to serve the church as laborers for God's harvest, may the Holy Spirit help them to respond generously. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government and business leaders, may God's wisdom guide their decisions for the needs of God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For individuals and families who do without some basic necessities, <coughs> may the Lord in his generosity provide the support and material goods they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own faith community, and, and especially for those working in the 
the healing professions, may God the, the healer mold them in their compassion for those who are ill. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Diane and all of our loved ones and parishioners, may all enjoy eternal rest in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own special intentions, which we now privately include in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we bring you these needs in the, in the trust, full trust, that you will hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Blessed be the Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become our spirit of, for us, the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Let the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. <clears throat> Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifices of your hands, for the grace and glory of His name, for our opening of the walls of His holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to your, their faith. To the, their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the host of angels cry out. And without end, we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord of the hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the excuse we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord. Until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Alfred our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Diane and all of our deceased loved ones and parishioners who have been called from this life to the next. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with, with St. Augustine and all the martyrs, and St. Elizabeth and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Sages for Man and for my divine teaching, we go to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, by peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Amen. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O oh God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of, of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Say, my Lord, our angel, to give us this battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you in the humble array. And to God, the Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast his own Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the fruits of souls. Have a good day.